Hey guys, welcome back to Kara Jo Plans. So recently I've had some requests to kind of flip through my budget notebook and kind of explain what I'm doing. If you've watched my videos lately, you know that I use the Budget by Paycheck workbook and then I use this as a supplement for some of the things that aren't included in the Budget by Paycheck workbook. Um, so I kind of just want to go through this and this one I actually started this January. So there's only a couple months in here and I'm waiting to move to a monthly planner starting in July. So this one won't last very long, but I've kind of changed a couple things of how I do budgeting lately. So let's just kind of go through where I've been since this January and then kind of see where we go. So I always like to plan out my sinking funds for the month. And I list them out, what was already in there, what I've added to them, and then sometimes if we're lucky, I track my what I pulled out of them and my ending balance for the month. Then I always like to do my weekly check-ins, and the categories that I track are the ones that I tend to overspend in, so the categories that you pick are totally up to you. Um, the ones that I've been tracking lately are food, fuel, gas for my car, fun money, household expenses, beauty, and then planner supplies. So each week I go through what I budgeted for that, write down what I spent and what the difference was, and carry that over week to week in a month. Now remember I budget by paycheck so it doesn't always add up equally. Like you can see I started January with some pretty odd numbers. So this must have been in the middle of a pay period because a pay period for me is two weeks. And then more of my weekly check-in carried over. I've done my debt snowball updates in here where I track how much I paid toward debt every month, what my starting balance was, my ending balance, and the grand total amount that I've paid off of debt so far. And then we go into February and this was a weekly check-in page. Uh, my sinking funds updating my debt snowball. And these kits are all from Life in Envelopes. My friend Jennifer Bleacher over at Life in Envelopes makes these budgeting kits that I was using for a long while. Um, there's a discount code for her down below. If you do like these kits and you want to use these, you can find those over in her shop. And then for March, the same thing, weekly check-in. If you see, like, the week four, I've been falling off on my weekly check-ins a lot this year. Um, I've been focusing more on paying off debt and not really worrying about these categories that much, but I am starting to get back into a system and follow things a little more closely. For you guys and for me, it helps. So my March sinking funds, my March debt snowball update, and then I started tracking my business expenses as well. In here, I have an Etsy shop. So I track the income that the Etsy shop brings every time I get paid from Etsy. Um, I save some of that for business expenses, taxes, and then what I keep for myself. And this one I just kind of threw together with just a marker. And then April's weekly check-in page. I didn't do my sinking funds in April. I did deposit them. I just never filled out the form. My debt snowball update for April I have not yet done. I'll probably just skip that one and then just do a debt snowball update for May. Um, these are my business expenses for April. And then I'm starting May with a weekly check-in kit. This is from Sarah Marie Stickers. And then I've got my sinking funds. I just filmed a video on this one. And then I started just a May budget page. I don't budget monthly, but I, I kind of like to see a whole month because I do close out my month. So I was going to do a May budget listing all of my bills and try to plan my variable expenses there. And then I got Sarah Marie's business budget for May that I'm going to try out as well. So that's kind of where this notebook is. This one I just started in January. And like I said, it's, it's kind of been, I've been back and forth with how I've been budgeting, and I haven't really been keeping good track lately. Um, I used to use Planner Kate's budget kits and do everything in a notebook similar to this, and I do want to get back to tracking everything all together, because you notice my paycheck budgets aren't in here, because they're in my budget by paycheck workbook. So, and my calendar isn't in here where I track my spending by categories. 
So I want to get where everything is together, and I think the best place for that is the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly for me, where I can have my calendar, and then I can have all the notes pages that I can do all of this in one place. So moving forward, that's where that's going to go. But the weekly check-ins, the sinking funds, and the debt snowball update, and my business expenses are what I've been keeping in here. And then my budget by paycheck and my expense tracking has been in the budget by paycheck workbook. So that's kind of where I'm at, and you can kind of see where I'm transitioning to. And I hope to have my full setup completely revamped by the time I get the new monthly planner. So stay tuned, follow along with that. But I know some people were kind of asking what I track in my budget. So this is kind of what that notebook serves for me right now. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.